Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Nobody's favorite day of the week, but at least it's not Monday. Today we're gonna to be talking about scale length measurements and bridge placement. So even by Quick Tip Tuesday standards, this is a quick tip. We're gonna talk about just briefly how to measure your scale length. I'm sure most of you know that, but it's important because it affects your bridge placement. When I initially built this guitar, I'm going to use this as an example, I had uh, a bridge that was vintage and it was drilled for modern and the scale length set up on those is different. So when I went to intonate it, no chance. These screws that hold the saddles were, you know, a solid inch too long almost and I ended up changing it out with a bridge that I wasn't using anymore to get the right length. But had I measured that beforehand, I probably wouldn't have had to waste my time with it. So your scale length is the distance between your nut, which is just out of frame here, and the saddles or your bridge essentially. And you know, there's a little bit of complexity to it because obviously your bridge saddles aren't gonna be placed the exact same on any guitar, but that is your scale length. So how do you measure that when you don't have a bridge in place? Well, it's very straightforward actually. The, uh, the distance from the nut to the saddles is exactly double the distance from the nut to your 12th fret. So assuming that your guitar is actually built in a proper scale length and doesn't have some ridiculous nonsense going on that's gonna make it unplayable, you can simply measure from the nut to the 12th fret and double that. So if I need to figure out if my bridge is in the right place, take the distance from, and this is not how you should do this, you should obviously have this on a bench. Um, take the distance from the nut to the 12th fret there, and then you know that you'll have the same distance from the 12th fret to your saddles and that's about it. You can just double that distance to get your full scale length or you can measure from the 12th fret down if that's a preference. So if you're doing a slightly more ambitious project where you need to drill for your own bridge or you're buying one of those piece of crap kits from GFS that doesn't come with the bridge holes pre-drilled for something like this for example, this is something that you're going to need to know and that is the easiest way for you to figure out as opposed to you know trying to input the calculations from fret to fret into like one of the stumag charts to figure out what the scale length is just measure that 12th fret so hopefully at least one or two of you guys found this useful i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned because this friday we're starting a new kit build it's going to be one that was made kind of by hand no templates or anything you will have seen it around christmas time bringing that back beautiful flame maple top it's going to be it's quilted. It's definitely quilted maple. It's going to be awesome. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you liked the video, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.